STA tech tip will learn how to use axial force control when running a curing reaction on a rheometer. Testing an epoxy on a rheometer allows us to measure both gel point and modulus as a function of time or temperature. However, many epoxies shrink significantly as they crosslink, making them difficult to test accurately. If the gap height is held constant, this puts tension on the transducer, which is recorded as axial force. The change in sample dimension and the additional stress on the transducer contribute to error in the measurement. Axial force control allows the instrument to adjust the gap height if a change in axial force is detected. In the TRIO software, we add a conditioning step before our experiment and select Options. We set the axial force adjustment mode to Active and set the initial value to 0 newtons. When we test the same epoxy using axial force control, the gap height decreases as the sample shrinks to maintain a constant axial force. This also ensures that the gap stays filled throughout the test. In this TA Tech Tip, we learned how to use axial force control to compensate for changes in sample volume. Stay tuned for more TA Tech Tips.